My name is Marcus Zuniga and I am an artist. The work that I do is centered around uh, interest in locating the self within the cosmos and this idea that I call relearning the cosmos through a multicultural consciousness. I recently have been looking into that work with the use of the telescope and deconstructing the apparatus of telescopes and my focus at the moment has been mirrors and the primary mirrors of major observatories and telescopes and, and which has produced a lot of sculptural work and a lot of work that's using sunlight as an important material in the work to create alignments between the earth and the sky. For this exhibition at 516 Arts, the installation I have is called Chiparosa and it in responding to the history of New Mexico as the subject for the exhibition, I wanted to showcase how that subject is a personal history for myself and many others in particularly the rural areas of New Mexico. And in doing that, I coincided the, the work to align with the research I was doing for my own genealogy, which I inherit a lot of my New Mexico lineage from my abuelita, who was born in reserve, and um, and through researching her genealogy, I was able to find out that my great great grandmother was born in Mimbres 150 years ago, and I really held on to that idea because it's an area of New Mexico where my family has been circulating through and is still in today, and I wanted to honor that legacy that I inherited from my abuelita and also celebrate her, which is why I named the word Chuparosa. That's the word I learned from her that means hummingbird, and which I think comes out of a vernacular of New Mexico Spanish. That's a, it's a regional term used to refer to hummingbird. And my abuelita has this beautiful affinity for hummingbirds that I wanted to embrace for the work. And so I went to Mimbres, where my great-great-grandmother Canuto Gutierrez Torres was born in 1869 and did what I am calling a remembrance ceremony. My abuelita came with me for that and I set up a sculpture to sit in the uh, area of Rio Mimbres and be aligned to the sun during the solar moon hour. So it was a remembrance ceremony commemorating the moment that Knuta was born at the place she was born during the time of her death um, in 1926, which was during the solar moon hour. So the work here is a, uh, what I'm thinking of as a remnants of that remembrance ceremony, where I took images that documented the ceremony videos that showcase what the land is like there, what the community is like there, and this, most importantly, what the sky is like there, and conflating all of those images together as a layered construction of reality that is a model of a microcosm of the universe. So taking the local environment and realizing it as an, and expressing it as a cosmic environment which includes a cultural and historical and human um, history. I have this sculpture here uh, that is from the Remembered Ceremony and I'm showing it with another 11 mirrors that creates a model of the sun path as seen from Mimbres at the time of her death in 1926. With the sculpture from the Remembered Ceremony set up at the uh, 12 o'clock position. And so the way that the installation works is that you come into the space and you're in this sort of remembrance uh, remnant of a ceremony performed in Mimbres, but your body also is part of the work where you interrupt the projection with your presence and the projection is made up of several different layers of video and, and projectors and the and your your also your image is reflected in the mirrors as well so 
your presence in the in the space is one that activates the work and also introduces what I think of as the idea of the hummingbird in the work that is fluttering through it and kind of making its mark as a part of that cosmic, localized cosmic environment. I am really excited for this exhibition and for this work to, to be here and happening now um, for a personal reason of getting the opportunity to really celebrate my abuelita and my work and to think about how that desire has forwarded a lot of what my work does to sh also showcase the diversity and complexity of the what I'm working towards, which I feel like is metaphorical and also a mirror to the complexity which we have individually as humans, as citizens of New Mexico, and um, as cosmic entities. Which I feel like that's part of the, the great work of the 21st century that I want to contribute to.